Hello everyone. Welcome to Analog IAS. Today we are going to discuss about an important concept called Ombudsman Scheme. There are three types of these schemes. One is Banking Ombudsman Scheme. Other is Non-Banking Financial Company Ombudsman Scheme. And finally Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transactions. Let us first discuss about Banking Ombudsman Scheme. This is a forum for bank customers for resolution of complaints relating to certain services rendered by the banks. It is introduced under Section 35A of Banking Regulation Act 1949. Banking Ombudsman is a senior official appointed by RBI under Banking Ombudsman Scheme 2006. All scheduled commercial banks, regional rural banks and scheduled primary cooperative banks are covered under this scheme. The compensation for any loss suffered by the complainant is limited to an amount arising directly out of act or commission of bank or 20 lakh rupees, whichever is lower. Now let us discuss about NBFC Ombudsman Scheme. It is introduced under Section 45L of RBI Act 1934. This scheme initially covered NBFCs which are authorized to accept deposits only. Now, this is gradually extended to cover other identified NBFCs. The maximum compensation is 10 lakh rupees. Finally, the Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transactions 2019. This scheme is being introduced under Section 18 of Payment and Settlement Systems Act 2007. The non-adherence to instructions of RBI by system participants about prepaid payment instruments, mobile or electronic fund transfers, UPI, Bharat Bill Payment System, Bharat QR Code and UPI QR Code comes under this scheme. The maximum compensation for this scheme is 20 lakh rupees only. Now let us discuss, discuss some of the common points in all these three schemes. The senior official is appointed by RBI in all these schemes. The banking ombudsman or any ombudsman may award compensation not exceeding 10, 1 lakh rupees to the complainant for mental agony and harassment. One can file the appeal against the award within 30 days of date of re receipt of the award. If the complainant is not satisfied with the award or decision of the ombudsman, he has the power to appeal. The appellate authority is vested with deputy governor in charge of that particular department. The concerned ombudsman does not charge any fee for filing and resolving customer's complaints. One can file a complaint with the ombudsman simply by writing a plain paper or by sending an email or filing it online. Now let us see a question based on this. Consider the following statements regarding banking ombudsman scheme. One. Banking Ombudsman is appointed by the RBI. This is true. 2. It resolves com customer complaints against deficiency in certain banking services. This is also true. 3. It has been introduced under RBI Act 1934. This statement is false because this scheme is introduced under Section 35A of Banking Regulation Act. So the answer is 1 and 2 only. Thank you.